Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we got some Road to Glory gameplay. Quavion's shower handle is bad. And he's already making things happen with that tackle right there. Now, on first and 10, they're going to go ahead and drop back. It looks like the quarterback's going to go ahead and scramble, and he just absolutely whiffs. He's a little bit rusty playing defense. But that is A-OK -okay because the Quavion shower handle, as you know, is always going to get back into the groove of things. As he rapid and rolls and Gator rolls pay it off. Central Michigan is putting up a pretty good drive right here. Man, they're going to go ahead and get all the way down to the two-yard line. The Claymore has to come across the field in order to make that tackle. And on the second play, here is second and one. The quarterback's going to go ahead, fire, strike, and find somebody in that end zone. The Quavion went ahead and co told Coach Harbaugh that, hey, look, I don't really feel confident playing QB, even though I know I can do it at a high level. But I'm just going to go ahead, play some defense, and go ahead and be on the kickoff and punt returns. As you clearly see, the Claymore's a mean returner, and he takes his mad boy all the way back to the ground. <laughs> Back in that end zone like he never left it. His teammates is dapping him up. They are fired up. And right here, as you can clearly see, we got another defensive stop. So that means there's another moment during with the uh -oh. And I go ahead and get up to that right side. That putter is not going to tackle me. You're eating turf. That is another touchdown for Michigan. And I mean, I was absolutely fired up with the boys. And right here, as you can clearly see, it is 14 to 7. And it looks like with this fourth down stop, we can blow this game wide open if we can. Our offense doesn't do too much. Only put up a field goal, but that is A-OK -okay with me. And we're going to go ahead and go into halftime up pretty damn big. And the Quavion is actually going to get a one-handed pick here. Oh, my goodness. Having defensive stops creates offensive opportunities. And as you can clearly see, like I said, we blew this game wide open. And right here, you're going to go ahead and dump it off. The Quavion's going to wrap him up. It is now fourth down, and they're going to go ahead and punt it to arguably the best returner in the NCAA, the Quavion shower hand. He's going to go ahead and hit with a bad two. Where are you going? He's going to go ahead and use that left sideline to his advantage. He gets a key block on the outside, and you're not chasing down the Quavion shower handle. Touchdown blue. Tequavo has like three touchdowns in this game, which is crazy because that's more touchdowns than he ever had when he was on offense. This is absolutely wild. And right here, Central Missions and QB, the coverage is too good. He's going to go ahead and take a sack. And on third and Walmart parking lot, he's going to drop back, throw it deep. And oh, my God, he got a cannon on him. I mean, I didn't expect him to throw that ball that far. It's kind of crazy, but. They got to put that ball back to the Quavion once again. He's going to go ahead and loop all the way back around. He's going the wrong way. He might end up getting tackled, but this guy doesn't have the angle on him. And the Quavion shower handle is going to go ahead. Oh, my God. Wow. That was an insane play, but as you can see, I've been a player of game with three touchdowns, three tackles, and interceptions. Here in our second game against Notre Dame, I'm on kick return duties. Once again, I hit him with that signature back juke that the Quavion loves so much. I had a key block to the outside, and on the opening kickoff, I'm going to go ahead and return this bad boy 96 yards for a TD. Let's go. I mean, he's just so elusive, so fast, so agile, and his ball carrier vision is excellent since he played a little bit of offense. And now the quarterback's going to go ahead and test him deep. No, sir. Do not put your hand in that cookie jar. That would be mine. I mean, talk about a hot start. Quavion is just absolutely dogging Notre Dame right here. And right here, the quarterback's going to go ahead and throw, but we're going to go ahead and tackle him at the line of scrimmage in right here. They're going to have to punt the ball off. Maybe they'll punt it out of bounds. Maybe they'll try to punt it straight to. Okay, they're going to actually punt it a little bit shorter right to the Quavion. In with the back two. Oh, my God. Everybody was fooled by that. He's not going to get caught by the punter. He's not going to get caught by that dude. And, oh, my God, that dude doesn't want to see greatness. But, you know, it doesn't really matter because we got another key defensive stop. And now it's fourth and nine. They're going to go ahead and punt that ball right back to the Quavion. Hit him with that signature back juke. And the whole team is just absolutely fooled as I hit him with that juke. And I go ahead and dive in that box for a sec. The Quavion shower handle is easily probably the best player in NCAA football history. And right here, the quarterback just went ahead and coughed that rock. And now we got another turnover. We are absolutely dogging Notre Dame here. Now it's first and 10. The quarterback's going to go ahead and throw, but it's just another interception. And my teammate's actually going to take this one all the way back to the house in the big house. You see what I did there? Okay, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway, now it is second and three. And as you can clearly see, we blew this game wide open. And now I got that open field tackle. Oh, my goodness. I mean, Dequavion can really do it all. He can throw. He can catch. He can play man-to-man. -man, he can play zone. And in that open field, he's easily one of the most dangerous tacklers in the NCAA. 
I mean, there isn't nothing that he can't do. Oh, my God. After that big hit, the quarterback is just rattled. He doesn't know what he's doing, and he's going to go ahead and throw this bad boy up, but it's going to be another interception, and, man, that is gay. Had a pretty good game today. Two total tackles, hella TDs, an interception. Can't get much better than that. Here in our third game against Minnesota, as you can clearly see, we are number three. Ranked in the AP poll, and right here, we make that on that back cough that ball up. Things got out of hand quick here in the big house playing Minnesota. They just can't keep up with our defense, and we are just way too good for these guys. Sometimes I am sad that I'm not a player on one of these trash teams so that I can bring them greatness, but it is what it is at the end of the day. And right here, they're gonna go ahead and punt me this ball, but I hit him with that little back juke. I try to go to the outside. See, I don't have enough space. I do a spin move. I try to stay on my feet, but I ended up getting tripped up. But we still score a touchdown, and that's really all that matters because the Clavion shower handle is such a selfless player. He's always going to put himself in a good position in order to make a play. And right here, the quarter is going to go ahead and throw across his body, but we get that interception. So tap in the back of the end zone. Good job, Wack. However, they got the ball back before halftime, so it looks like we're not going into the locker room happy. But the quarterback just ended up throwing an interception straight to me because he's an idiot. I went into the locker room, took a quick shower with J.J. McCarthy, and now I'm back onto the field. And right there, that should have been my pick, but I just wasn't aware. But it is what it is because we ended up getting the stop, and we actually kicked a field goal. So as you can clearly see, it is 31-0, to zero, and these boys have nothing going their way. As they throw me another interception, I'm going to actually take this one all the way to the crib. I mean, it's just been a very, very long day for this quarterback. It is 38 to zero, and all this guy needs to do is just run this ball, but even that doesn't work. Goodness gracious, we're fired get up. One more kick return or touchdown of any type or sort that I get to sit down for the rest of the game, and I'm a little bit tired playing in this race, so I'm going to go ahead and just whoop, whoop, and go ahead and take that bad boy all the way down to that blue and maze. Box touchdown, sour hand. I mean, that was just insane. I went ahead and dapped my boys up, let them know, and I'm out of here. This is not a bad game at all. Two interceptions, hella touchdown, hella yards. What more can I ask for? Here in our next game against Penn State, and we are number two in that nation. We gotta protect our rank. And when you see me protect that ball, because I'm headhunt. No, my goodness. That was an insane hit. However. They went ahead and stalled out on the drive, so now they get to kick the ball off to me, and that is not something you want to do. That guy ended up trying to catch me, though, but it don't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and take this all the way down the sideline, making multiple dudes eat turf, and I'm diving in that end zone for six. 14-0 lead against Penn State. Not much else I could ask for except throwing another turnover or getting another hit. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that dude just absolutely got yeah. By the Quavion shower handle, but it is what it is. Now on second and 10, the quarterback's scared to even hike the ball, and the running back's going to go ahead and try to test me. He gets laid down, too. I told these boys at Beaver Stadium that I did not come here to play no type of games, that I am headhunting, and I will get a targeting call before the end of the game. The reason why I play with so much fire is because my teammates get fired up as well, and they play better, as you see with that sack right there. And now here on the punt return, they kick that ball right to me. And right here, I didn't even have the juke. Yet. I just used my speed, man. Touchdown, shower handle. These boys in the Big Ten is just way too easy, man. And sit down, fuck nigga. <clears throat> My bad, sorry, but anyway, I absolutely pancake that quarterback, and it's just not looking good for Penn State overall. They're down 24 to 0. It, it, it's tough, but when you come to play the Quavion shower handle, it's just going to be a long night for you as I lay out that running back once again. They're going to go ahead and try to kick this ball right back to me, and I mean... Just kick it out of bounds next time. Hit him with that back juke from hell. Go ahead and swerve in and out. Back out once again. Number three, try to catch me. You're a nobody. You don't even have a name on your jersey. Touchdown, shower. Yeah. Well, no, think about it. None of these dudes have names on their jerseys, which is pretty weird. I ended up trying to see after the game whether or not these dudes have no names just because the coach said so, or maybe because they actually suck, but I actually got ran over here, so maybe they don't suck. I ended up finding out it's because of tradition. But that's a bunch of bullshit, so I blew up the quarterback. Penn State just didn't show up all game. They finally did score a touchdown, though, but it doesn't matter because I'm still headhunting. And the Quavion shower handle is going to make sure that the Nittany Lions go ahead and go in the locker rooms with their tail tucked. Ten total tackles, two tackles for loss, and interception. Man, I'm really the greatest player of all time. 
And I'm glad that everybody agrees. As you see, I'm in that lead for the Heisman race. And now in our game against Indiana, this is basically just a little tune-up game in the middle of the season in order to make sure that we are prepared for the big boys. Though I know that these next stretches of games are going to be tough, so to play Indiana to get some confidence back up is really going to help us out. And by the way, the quarterback's going to go ahead and drop back on third and long. He's looking, 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 looking. Finally fires to my man, but it doesn't matter because I'm the master baiter. I ended up letting him catch that ball just to poke it right back out. The quarterback really thought he had a first down right there when he threw that ball, but little did he know the Quavio shower handle can do all things through his lord and say, oh my goodness. I mean, I was going to go ahead and tackle that kid, but my teammate just laid him down. But right here, I got my opportunity right back in blood, and I went ahead and laid him down. Now Indiana is going to go ahead and try to kick the field goal. I try to get in there and block it, but it doesn't matter because they doink it off the upright and they miss it. When you come into the big house, you cannot miss the gimmies. And right here, they're going to go ahead and just try to, oh, my God. I mean, I just have no idea what is up with my teammates right now. And, oh, my goodness, that was a great interception by me. What is coming on? This is just an insane game right now. I don't really know what's going on. But for some reason, they kicked the ball right to me on the punt off. So, I'm just going to go ahead and make these bad boys pay. And the coach told me that if I went ahead and scored here, that they're going to pull me early and I get to go home and enjoy steak dinner. Got up out of there, enjoy my steak dinner, and left home with that dub. Let's go. I know Michigan State is our little brother, but there's no love on this side. Here in the battle for the Paul Bunyan Trophy, you know I had to set so early with that big hit. And then they went ahead and started out on the drive. So they're going to go ahead and kick the ball to Quavio Shower Handle, but he had some trouble trying to get the ball. But it doesn't really matter, though, because you already know he's going to make something out of nothing every single time. Key block, sideline, turf, a touchdown Shower Handle. Man, oh, man, that was an insane sequence. But right here, I went ahead and chopped him up, made sure to get that tackle. Michigan State is actually knocking at the door here, and they have a chance to go ahead and catch up with us, but I went ahead and wrapped and rolled them get rolls paying off. And right here on third and one, the quarterback's going to end up throwing my way, and I wish I could have got that ball. But it is what it is, and right here on second to go, the quarterback's going to go ahead and roll out, and we fly like this receiver. Oh, my goodness. And then we casually hold up the line against this running back. He ain't going nowhere. They had to go ahead and kick their little three points, but then on the kickoff, they went ahead and kept that bad boy in bounds in the field of play. What are you doing? Or, you know, Tequavion's going to go ahead and take this bad boy all the way. What the fuck? Them boys don't want to see greatness, man. They went ahead and tackled me, but it don't matter because I'm going to make something happen anyways. But I get in the way of my teammate, and they're getting tackled, but that's another interception for Tequavion shot. And then I lay the bell. That young man did not know what happened to him, but it is what it is. And right here, the quarterback's going to go ahead and drop back, and he throws another interception. This time, my teammate catches it. And this is now first and goal. Michigan stays back on that goal line once again, but we're going to go ahead and swallow him up in the backfield. But they end up getting six anyway. That dude just got his head taken off completely. It is third and 11 now. I went ahead and got another tackle. This is just rapid fire gameplay. However, all good things must come to an end. I ended up letting up my first touchdown of the season. But that don't really matter because we ended up coming out here and handling our business. I had seven total tackles, interceptions, some TD. Here in the biggest game of all time, Michigan versus Ohio State. And we're coming out sitting the tone early. We got a big sack in there right here. We ended up forcing a fourth down, which means that they got to put that ball to the most dangerous returner of all time. I hit it with that back juke and make all of Ohio look stupid. I mean, how do you fall for the back juke every single time, man? Only in Ohio, bro. Only in Ohio. I'm going to go ahead and type in that box for a sec. We took a quick 14-0 lead, and it looks like C.J. Stroud is having a little bit of trouble here. Hopefully, he'll get drafted, but I'm going to go ahead and lay out Marvin Harrison Jr. like a little bitch, and then go ahead and get that ball again. I'm going to lay out again. Fuck out of here. When you catch that ball, your head better be on a swivel. And right here, you already know, like I said, Coach put me on kickoff return as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the whoop, back juke from hell and go ahead and take that bad boy to the outside. Nobody is going to catch the Quavion shower handle. Get off me, and I finally get pushed out of bed. These boys just don't want to see greatness, but it doesn't matter because some way, somehow, I'm going to make sure that I 
big play. Right there, I got that tackle all right here. I went ahead and got a one and an interception. Give me that ball right back. You already know I was fired up with the boys. I mean, Ohio State is somewhat in this game still, but I'm going to go ahead and jump the snap, run all the way, and track down this running back in order to wrap and roll them gator rolls for me and all. And now that it is the second half of the game, and bro, oh boy, is C.J. Stroud having himself a rough day. It is 21-7. to You already know it's about the end of the third quarter. Went ahead and fast-forwarded it, and as you can clearly see, Ohio State's just having a really rough time moving that ball. We definitely want to win this game and beat our rivals, but I went ahead and just bit down a little bit too hard, and I ended up letting up my second touchdown of the season in the right back in the game. I went to the sidelines, and I got an earful from Coach, and he let me know that if we're going to win this game, I need to step up, not when I want to, but right now. And I told Coach, yes, sir, I will. So I went ahead and snagged that ball up out of the air. I got an interception, threw a defender off me. I got a couple key blocks from my teammates, and I took it all the way to the house to make sure to seal the deal. Let's go. I made sure to let Ohio State that they're not going to beat me now, not ever. And I never, ever had a losing record to Ohio State as a Michigan Wolverine, which is a pretty damn good accomplishment. And right here, C.J. Strauss is going to go ahead and get sacked once again, and I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout just to rub it into their faces a little bit. And as you can see, they're going to go ahead and go for it, but C.J. Strauss has nowhere to go, and we're going to go ahead and win this game. Let's go. As clear to see, I'm playing the game with seven tackles and two interceptions. To Quavion Shower Handle is a Heisman winner. Once again, I want back to back Heismans. It is insane. I won the Heisman again. And I won that Chuck Menard, that Bronco Nagurski Award. Also, going to go ahead and win that Jim Thorpe Award. And I'm going to win that Jet Award. You already know what time it is. It is the national championship game against Kansas State out of all teams, which is insane. But. I mean, they're pretty tough to beat. And as you can see here, they're already on that goal line early. And they're going to go ahead and actually punch it in. They wasted no time at all. Of course, we came and we answered back and everything. But they're going to go ahead and take the top off the defense. And I'm just, I felt a little sluggish right there. And I actually ended up whiffing on the tackle right here on third and six. He's dropping back. He's looking, firing. And we almost had an interception right there. They ended up kicking their three, and then they stopped us on offense, which is insane. But the quarterback's going to make a costly mistake here, pitching that ball backwards to absolutely nobody. And run, fat boy, run. The d line is going to go ahead and take that bad boy all the way to the end zone. And he actually changed momentum in this game. And, I mean, let me tell you, just absolutely lit a spark under our team because after he did that and scored that touchdown, we just absolutely came out here and dominated the competition. You see the ball get swatted at the line, and he ended up getting into the Quavion shower handles. And he's going to go ahead and break a tackle, outrun the quarterback, and nobody's going to catch shower handle. He's going to go ahead and leave it that block for six. I'm fired up. The team's fired up. And you already know when I'm fired up, I make plays. I go ahead and get a sack on the quarterback. And right here, I should have had an interception bounce. It's a step too slow. But it is what it is. And right here, our third down, the quarterback's going to go ahead and look fire. And my teammate gets that total tap interception on that sideline. We ended up not scoring, but right here, I went ahead and jumped the snap perfectly and got in that backfield to get that tackle. And then I jumped the snap again, but I did get the tackle. My teammate got my back, though. Let's go. That was huge for us because we ended up actually being able to stop the clock in order to get them to punt us the ball back. And you already know when the ball is in my hands, great things happen. I go ahead. And with the back juke in the national championship, the putter's not going to catch me. And that offensive lineman, you're just way too fat. I'm going to go ahead and dive in that ox again. Let's go. That is perfect. And now we have blown this game wide open. And Deuce Vaughn is just getting tossed around like a little bitch. I mean, I respect them, you know, being that short and whatnot, being in the NCAA. But golly, you got to put that weight up, boy. And right here, the quarterback just tested me. I'm not sure why. I'm going to go ahead and make that man eat turf. Do a little back juke, juke. But I ended up getting tackled out of bounds. It just feels so good to perform in the national championship. I just absolutely love playing the game with my boys. And right here, my teammates are going to go ahead and get this massive sack. So we're going to go ahead and get that ball right back because they're going to put it right to the quick. I hit it with a back juke from hell, and he's absolutely fooled. And I'm just going to go ahead and outrun every single person out here on the field until I get tackled. It is what it is, though, because it still resulted in a point that 
at the end of the day, is all that really matters. But they're going to go ahead and put that ball to Quavion Shawhander, which is probably top 10 worst things you can do in the NCAA. I hit him with the facts. He already saw him. He just ate turf. Oh, my goodness. Punter gets laid out. That's going to be a touchdown. And I'm going to go ahead and get to go home a little bit early. I started off my football career as just some little kid from Arkadelphia, Arkansas. And now I've won back-to-back -back national championships with the Michigan Wolverines. All I needed to do was just find my spot in college football. And as you can clearly see, I made great things happen. I was just a high school senior with no offers. Skinny as fuck, no bitches, and now I'm on top of the football world. And now I have to decide whether or not I want to become a professional car salesman or if I'm going to enter my name to that draft. As you can clearly see, I had a great game, five total tackles, tackles for loss, two sacks and two interceptions with hella TDs. So you decide, is Shower Shawhander become the greatest car salesman of all time or is he going to go to the NFL?